Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to our Facebook Live. I'll hang out for a second while I'm waiting on everybody to kind of jump in. Let's see who starts jumping on. Meredith and Aurora are hanging out in their raincoats. We were all a little surprised at the rain this morning. Not in such a lovely way. <laughs> Didn't know it was going to rain today. Hi, Christine. We're doing our, oh, people are starting to jump on. Now we're just going up, up, up. If you haven't had a chance to check out our pet of the week this week, um, when we're done with our Facebook Live, you definitely need to go check out the video uh, link on our YouTube channel for Coco. I'll tell you, there are not many dogs that I um, am so tempted to keep because, you know, I've ate at home. So an additional one is a lot. But she would have been one that I absolutely would have kept. She's an adorable little dachshund, maybe pit bull mix, I don't know. But she's got a fabulous disposition and she's a great size. She's about 23 pounds. Um, so very portable by all, while also being a very sturdy dog. And um, has just a fabulous disposition. And her um, humans died from, of COVID. And so we're hoping to find her new home. She's our 99.5 Pet of the Week this week. And we are so excited to be able to feature her. She's also with my rescue organization. So I, I love having her. She's a great little dog. Um, and if you joined us last week for our um, adoption fair live stream from the animal shelter, I'm happy to report that I got a nice little update from the shelter that four of the dogs we featured, including Sasha, have been adopted. And we're super excited to hear that. And we're hoping that more have been adopted by this point as well. Boy, I've got a lot of you jumping on. Thanks, everybody. Amy and Leanne and Brittany and Peggy and Barb. Wow, thanks everybody for saying hi, hello to you. We're super excited to be here and be doing our box reveal for um, May. And so I don't know, I know Brittany's got her box over at the other store ready to go. Um, Shan already, oh, Brittany picked hers up because she did a box reveal on Instagram. Um, hi, Holly. Yes, my girls, they are just hanging out. You can't really see Merida anymore because she's gone <laughs> into the pouch, but they're just hanging out for me. Um, but Brittany did a lovely box reveal. Um, and so we really thank you guys for um getting our boxes but if you haven't gotten a box this month and you want to see all about it we had a really fun theme this month um and really had a lot of fun making it so it's a barcuterie and catuterie box and um this is the the front of the pamphlet so um these are charcuterie boards for your pet and it's a creative way of being able to feed them to keep it exciting and um we love doing these boxes, but I've especially loved this theme because it's a creative way to feed your pet. So we have both a cat box and a dog box. And, you know, the one thing I will say about our cat box is it doesn't look um, as big, but that's because cat things are so much smaller. Even if the value is the same, it just doesn't look as full. Um, but a lot of fun stuff. And so I will go through the cat one for you first. And the dog one is similar. Um, in nature. Hopefully I'll have enough room here to show you. Um, but we have some fun things here from our friends at Northwest Naturals. These are in both boxes. So these are freeze-dried shrimp and um, I think it's going to be too much air in there for you to be able to really see but they're actually like little freeze-dried baby shrimp in there. And then these are minnows, freeze-dried minnows by our friends at Northwest Naturals. It's a great source of omegas and um, wonderful nutrition, but a great thing to put out on a little board. So this is the board that comes with the cat. It has two different textures, a front and a back. And what we would tell you to do is to take something like the Rariva Slide and Serves. This is the wet food. Or you can take a canned Just Juicy by Lotus. And you can, dump these out on the tray, spread them out, and then you can put a, a few of the freeze-dried in there. 
you can add some freeze dried rabbit treats from Vital Essentials. You can put a little squeezable tube. We also have some fillets um, that are nice and fun from Anaba um, that are a great addition for this kind of a board. And it's just a unique way to feed your pet. It's something a little bit more interactive. We've talked a lot about these licking mats releasing endorphins as your pet licks them, um, calming endorphins and um, kind of just a feel good thing. But it's a great interactive way to feed your pet. So, and cats, we've talked a lot about whisker fatigue in cats. Feeding them on this kind of a tray is so much better for their whiskers. So spreading it out over the tray, letting them lick and get in between the crevices, a really great thing. And the other really nice thing about this is you just throw it in the dishwasher or wash it up in the sink it's soap, with soap and water, but you can throw it in the top um, drawer of the dishwasher because it is silicone, so it's nice and safe and washable. And then in the cat box, we have some fun, we have some more cans, I won't pull all those out, but we have some fun um, little toys from our friends at Huxley and Kent. This is a sardine. They have fizzy fizz, fuzzy fizz, which is a catnip toy, and it has crinkle in it, but it's their champagne to go with their catuterie tray. This is the kitty cake perno grigio, and again, another crinkle catnip toy. And then this is the sushi roll for their tray. Um, so again, lots of fun putting this together. We really have enjoyed it. And that is the cat box. I'll get the dog box pulled together for you. Let me get this out of the way so we'll have room for what's in the dog box. You guys can see everything. It's a little bit bigger. So these are wellness bowl boosters. And one is for skin and coat, it's this one. And then this one is for digestive health. And what you would do is just rehydrate them in some bone broth or warm water, and you can add them to the tray. Those are both sample sizes. These are Zignature Ziggy Bars. This is the trout formula. We also have some, some of the boxes have pork, things like that. But what I would tell you to do with this is to take the signature canned food, open this, and spread it on the treats kind of like a pate, like you would do a liver pate or cheese, um, a cheese ball. Spread it out on the, um, on the treats and then put it on your messy mutt tray. I'm going to take this bag off so you guys can see it all a lot better. But this is the messy mutt tray. It comes with that little spatula, which is a very cool deal. You can take some of this and spread it on the tray. Take the Ziggy Bars and spread it on the Ziggy Bars. Take the rehydrated bowl boosters and sprinkle it on the tray. As I said, this comes with the shrimp and the minnows as well from Northwest. Get those out so you can see those. Comes with some cheese because you know charcuterie tray is not complete without some cheesios. And so from provided these crunchios that are the cheese flavor that are very popular. Then our friends of Barkworthy's provided these collagen beef sticks. And I will say Aurora Rose is quite the fan of these collagen sticks. They are longer lasting than a steer stick. Um and nice and good because they are collagen. Um, so they're great for skin and coat, but these are a great chew. They're longer lasting than a steer stick. Maybe not as long lasting as a antler, but the nice thing about these, is they're very digestible and they're no more expensive than a steer stick. So you're getting a longer lasting chew out of them versus a steer stick. Um, our friends at Lotus, we have two cans of their food. This is their turkey stew and their green tripe. Again, very easy just to put out on the tray and spread around. This is Nature's Logic Beef Crumble. You can sprinkle that on top of what you've put out for them, spread onto the, um, spread onto the tray. We have a Play-Doh Energy Bar. 
These are energy bars for the on the go. But what you can do is just break off a small piece and put that on the tray as well. These are Yaki Puffs. And we carry Himalayan brand Yaki Puffs here in the store. They're a nice little small crunchy treat. But a great way to add cheese to your charcuterie tray for your dogs. And then, of course, no charcuterie tray is complete unless it has some bubbly um a bubbly beverage on the side let me get this one open so you can see we have cupcake vineyards pinot grigio and that is by our friends at huxley and kent so cute and then this one is champagne puff the cork and these are squeaky crinkly toys we, they vary in each box as to what exactly is, is in there. And so, um, you know, the toys may vary. They are always from Huxley and Kent. And they're always going to be of the bubbly variety. But you may have a larger champagne and a smaller Pinot Grigio or something like that. We have lots of different kinds of these. And then the last thing in there, I think, is going to be this Tiki Dog Stick. Again, another great thing to spread on your tray or to sprinkle over. If you've, you've gotten it all done, you can put this as like the icing on the top. So another real exciting thing for your pet. So that is a little bit of what we've put in there. I would encourage you to add your own items. Things that I add for my pets quite frequently are things like green juju, um, which are greens and bone broth. We carry that here at our stores. And I also will add in fresh blueberries, fresh strawberries right now since it's berry season. Um, I've even been putting a little bit of cantaloupe or watermelon on there as we've been cutting them up for human consumption in our house. Um, but I would encourage you to add other fun things. This is a great interactive meal set for your pet in a way that you can make mealtime fun and exciting for them and make it last a little bit longer instead of just gulping it down all in one breath. This is a way for them to um, enjoy what they're eating and have fun with it. Um, it's maybe not something you need to do every meal because it's a little bit harder to count calories this way, but something you could do maybe special once a week or, you know, when you've just gotten back and they're sad from somewhere, maybe if they have to go to the vet, this is a good reward. Um, so this is just a really fun thing to be able to do, a really interactive thing for your pet. And we hope you enjoy it as much as we have enjoyed making the box for you. We do have these available through our website. Let me get to the web. I'll put the link in there. Um, I'll put the link in the comments really quickly um, so that you guys can have the link ready to go. If you want to purchase one, they can be purchased on our website on auto order, or you can purchase just a one-time. One-time purchase is $34.99. Auto order is $29.99. Here we go. The link is in the comments. Yeah, Brittany is saying they moisten and freeze one of Ace's meals on it. You can also throw these in the freezer. So if maybe you use, um, oh, it's not letting me add that link. I don't know why. Sorry. Um, we'll try again. Um, you can al always put yogurt or any of the goat milk yogurt that we carry. Those always work nicely. Hopefully that link posted. It looks like it did. Um, but you can put goat milk on here, put bone broth, any kind of fun little thing you can put in the freezer and then pull it out and it's a fun treat for your pet. Uh, and of course we love Messy Much. You can throw it in the dishwasher. Very comes clean very easily. Um, but the value of both of these boxes is over $100. So really, really big value. And if you're feeling rather lucky, there is a um, subscription box, one of these subscription boxes in the Red Dog Farm auction for tonight for their Dogs on the Catwalk. Uh, so if you're feeling lucky, you can try to go win it from their auction. Um, or you can just purchase one for our website very easily. So if you have any questions about those, please um post them yeah barb says she's going to be very excited about this month's box barb subscribes to it 
Um, it is an exciting one. We're very excited about it. And next month is going to be great too. It is sponsored by one of our manufacturers and that always has lots of goodies that come in it. Um, but we have a lot of fun box themes coming up. So if you haven't subscribed, you definitely want to. Subscription, if you subscribe, it means you have a guaranteed box and it's reserved for you at the time that we pack them. Um, otherwise, you're taking your chances on whether or not they're going to be available. And they are becoming rather popular and we only make a limited amount each month. Um, so I hope you will remember us. It's Mother's Day this weekend. I'm here to be your Friday reminder for all the moms in your life that you need to get them something special and tell them how loved they are. And whether they are mothers of your, your furry children or your human children or both, please let the mothers in your life know how, how loved they are. And you'll see just behind my head all of these lovely pillows that are up on um, the wall. We just got these pillows in and they've been selling out quickly. This one says best friends make the simple moments special. It says that on both sides, great pillows. And this pillow, I think, let me look and see. I think that this pillow is $19.99. Some of the other pillows up on the wall are $24.99 if they're a bit larger. See if I tip this up a little bit. You can see them. You can see how pretty the patterns are, and the artwork is so gorgeous. Um, thank you, Amy. She's wishing me a happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, my human kid. I think my furry kids are a little bit more thankful these days than my human children. Um, let me see. This is like a really big. Let me see if I can do this. I'm going to see if I can switch over to my phone and switch out. Okay. Oh, goodness. Sorry. We're going to remove this other one. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I haven't tried that before, but I wanted to be able to move around so you guys can see some things here. Um, so I'm sorry for being repetitive there. But let me move around. Okay, here we go. Hopefully you guys can still hear me. Let me know if you can't. Um, I'm going to move around here in the boutique area and show you some things. I Right before I sat down and um, was getting ready for this Facebook Live, I had a customer who was browsing around the boutique area, and she's been in here several times. She goes, I've never stopped to look in the boutique. There are so many great things in this boutique that you would never know are here. So I want to take a moment to show you some fun things. Here are um, some great scarves. For the pet lover in your house. Um, there's one with paw prints, one with dachshunds, you know, kind of partial to that one. One with cats, another one with cats, another one with dachshunds. So cute. And then there's a cute little dog bag there. Um, and another little fun bag, Lick Me, I'm Irish. We have all kinds of tea towels. And then all kinds of fun little gifts. We have mugs and all kinds of fun hooks for the wall, artwork, wine glasses. I want to give you guys a good view of our boutique area. These fun little statues just recently came in and we have them in a couple of different breeds that are a lot of fun. But then look at that colored artwork down there, the planters. We have cats, we did have some dogs. And then this fun little garden hanger that's a cat. There's a Chihuahua statue. So all kinds of fun gifts. I 
want to encourage you guys to come in and hang out in our boutique a little bit at both of our stores. Yes, Emily, we do have a dachshund statue. Let me locate it here. There are the dachshund statues. There's one in kind of a blue color and one in a matte gray. Let's see if, yeah, I think I've got them on the screen. You can see both of them. They're really cute. And then, of course, there's a dachshund keychain. All kinds of fun gifts. And then if you have somebody in your life who's recently lost a pet, we have a huge sympathy area um, that we have been adding to recently that has a lot of memorial frames. They ha we have um, even some necklaces that are um, urns, which is a nice, cool little thing to be able to give to somebody who's lost their pet. And we have memorial candles. We have all kinds of memorial gifts. So if you know of somebody who has lost a special um, pet in their life, we have something here that can help memorialize the pet that they've lost. The last thing I'm going to do is take you over here. Let me see if I can do so and show you our t-shirt wall. Let's see if I can, oops, not going to work that way. I was trying to rotate my camera, but that's not going to happen. So I'll just have to turn it on the phone. Sorry. First time I've done this really, but here is our t-shirt wall. So if you've ever been into our battleground store location, we have quite the collection of t-shirts, but one of the newest ones we had is one of my favorites. And I think a lot of moms out there would love this shirt, but it's called, Ooh, Sits Creek, such a popular t-shirt, such a popular show. We love this show. Um, but that's a brand new t-shirt from Teddy the dog that we're loving these days. And I mean, we have all kinds of t-shirts, everything from a dog can change the way you see the world to, um, oh my God, I forgot to have children. That's another really fun dog mom t-shirt. Um, hopefully you can see them. Um, but come in and check out these t-shirts. They make great presents for the dog mom in your life. The other thing I really love, I've talked about these before, is the dog mom sleep shirt and the dog mom sweatshirt. That sweatshirt is one of my favorite cozy sweatshirts ever. We really love those. We have garden flags. All kinds of fun, fun gift items for your for your solutions for your mothers in your life. Okay, guys. Well, I guess that was successful tra trading you over to the phone from my computer. Somewhat successful. A little bit of reverb there. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank the mom you have in your life or the um, fur mom you have in your life. And we wish you all a wonderful weekend. Come in and shop with us. Come in and visit. We're going to have mimosas all weekend for the moms. So come in, grab a mimosa, and shop in the boutique area. Buy yourself a Mother's Day gift. Don't wait on anybody else. You guys have a great weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. And while you're at it, get yourself a subscription box because we will sell out of these this month. And they're a huge value. Talk to you guys soon. And for those of you going to Dogs on the Catwalk tonight, I'll see you there. Bye.